Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R2, Acumatica has made it easier to manage your widgets on your dashboard. So when we look at our dashboard and we click the design button, these are all individual widgets. And if you scroll to the bottom of the screen, you can see that you can add a brand new widget. Of course, you can move widgets around and your widgets are different types. You can display information to essentially put together your entire dashboard. But when we click on the property screen, one of the new things that Acumatic has added is this widgets tab. It gives us the ability to look at a dashboard and see all of the widgets that we've added. So we're starting to segment these widgets in a way where we can see where they are, what column they are, and everything. But what's new is the ability to deactivate. So prior to that, we would create a dashboard, and if the dashboard widget wasn't working, or for example, maybe it was a big performance drain, then you would kind of be stuck with it, and your inability to turn it off for individual users. But now what you can do is you can simply uncheck the widgets you don't want, save it, you go back to the dashboard, you'll see that they show up as blank. Put another way, if we go back to our properties here, go to the widgets, we'll check these back on, and maybe we'll uncheck recent activities and a couple of these KPIs, notice the widget style, name, and we'll save it, and we'll view it again. And see Acumatica has now shifted everything around. So you can deactivate widgets and it doesn't make it look horrible. You essentially, it rolls everything up and moves things around. The beauty of the Acumatica dashboard is its ability to essentially show any piece of information. So a lot of other products out there are very limited. You have a very limited number of pieces of information, call them widgets also, that you can show on the dashboard. But in Acumatica, you can put any information together. It all starts with a generic inquiry. You have a lot of videos on generic inquiries. It starts with those. And from that generic inquiry, you can piece it together in some sort of either KPI or chart or whatnot. But the one thing you need to be cautious about is if you could put together any piece of information, if you put together a bad generic inquiry, an inquiry that's not tuned very well and is very slow, has to look at many different tables, has large data sets, then when we're looking at this widget, in order to get any piece of information or a particular piece of information that has to look at something really slow, it may actually be a performance strain on the system. So now you have the ability to, while you're working through that, or during certain times of the year, you can go in and you can check off the ones that you don't want, uncheck them, and move on, and then maybe look at it, either tune it or wait for another time. So that's the dashboard widgets that are now defined properly in the properties of the dashboard. And we have the ability to not only see all the information, what column it's in, what type it is, but now you have the ability to deactivate that widget for the purposes of performance or if the information's not right, you need to get back to it. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please click the like button. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.